Okay, welcome. Uh, this is Jerome Derrick, MBC. My name is Rose Belancita Chibaya. I am the regional manager for the Boats Kampala. Yes, nice to have you, Madam Chibaya. Is it? Uh, yeah. Uh, which name is comfortable with you? Okay, <laughs> okay, okay yeah, all right. So, uh, I wanted us to talk about the product you have, you brought for us uh, today, in this week of the National Science Week. And uh, I wanted you to talk about it, a little about it. All right. As you know, our organization, Fundibots, has a mission to accelerate science learning in Africa. And because of that fact, definitely we are supposed to be here. Otherwise, there is no way we can have National Science Week without having the people who are accelerating science learning in Africa. So we do this three, through three main uh, program pillars, Fundi at School, Fundi at Work, Fundi at Home, and cross-cutting is Fundi Girls. We have the Fundi Girls program that is cross-cutting through. Uh, we have intentional inclusion of the girl child in this program. So Fundi at School is everything we do with the learners while they are in school. Fundi at Home, everything we do with the learners while they are at home. And then Fundi at Work is what we do with the learners who have already taken on a science career and they just want a boost or an enhancement. Okay, now uh, according to the products you have here, do you have uh, like um, specified like a uh, Fundi at Home, Fundi at School, Fundi at Home, Science as in the products? Can you show us this is done at home or this oh, yes. is a... Oh. So this is Fundi at School and I know that Anna Mary has already told you that these are practical science tools. These are the ones for the classroom. For example, this is electricity. Electricity we study from the classroom. This is a P4 experiment. P4 and some senior, senior classes will do this. So you see, there is no way we are telling people that take on science careers if they are not excelling in the classroom. So can we start from the classroom? Can we start from primary level? And start so that we can have the trajectory starts there and if someone is interested, they can pull it through. But even if you've not in, you're not interested, at least you understood the concepts. Versus when we used to learn about electricity, and it was a theory topic. No wonder most of you. <laughs> yeah, most <laughs> of us, we just yes, that, So that is Fundi at school. Then this is Fundi at home. So at home, we are saying, let's read the comic books. Let's have the food, the smart box, the magic box. So this magic box would be a replica of toys. So what it has, it has an experiment that is not done and it has a step-by-step -step guide of how to put it together. But this toy is scientific. So as the child is putting it together, they are learning a concept in science. They pose questions to each other, they are doing it interactively and it helps them. So Fundi at Home has so many aspects. We also have holiday classes. Actually, our next one is on 9th October. We have a YouTube channel that also just has, um, it has science, science topics, science related content. Uh, feel free to subscribe on our channel and that helps the learners understand. So instead of children being on the iPads, on the laptops and they're getting cyber abuse, can they just find science content there and learn? Which in return, they'll use for innovation or they will use in the classrooms. So this is Fundi at home. Now, Fundi at, Fundi at work, but even before we get to work, so now we are introducing them to ICT. We are introducing them to ICT, we are introducing them to, uh, to AI, we are introducing them to artificial intelligence. So this is a, this is, this is a breadboard, uh, they learn through, pro so they do robotics. Robotics is basically electronics, mechanics and programming. So they start to understand light, light in its effect, electricity, what does a battery have, the positive, the negative, the voltage and everything. So a six-year-old will start with uh, something like this. A six-year-old? A six-year-old. They'll understand the concept of the motor, they'll understand the concept of switches and batteries and everything. Then a ten-year-old will start to put things, actualize things on a breadboard a little bit of code, because now they've started using Scratch with Arduino. Uh, so what, what is this? this is an Arduino board. Arduino board. Yeah. So this is a breadboard. breadboard. Then they start to use sensors. So they will, they will build onto this. But you see, this was basic. So now we are telling them, identify a problem. Be the change you want to see. Identify a problem and find the solution. So create solutions. So we are starting to create solutions. We are starting as young as that age. Yeah. 
and we are saying, what do you want to do? Of course, the young ones will tell me they want robots that can do housework, <laughs> do homework. But now as they add advance, they will start to come up with concepts like this. So this would be a university student. You see, it, is, it has lots of programs, it has lots of coding language. This is, an, this is an arm. It's an industrial arm. It can be used as a forklift. It can be used, uh, it can be used in the industries. It can be used in the construction sites. So, and then it is automated. It is run on a remote. You know the remote cars that we keep buying for children? Can we allow them to make them here so that they can understand? But that's not it. So whatever you want to do, you start to learn, you start to understand, but then you start to be creative. But as you're doing all this, you're learning lots and lots of soft skills. It's very important because you've got to pitch your product. You've got to come up with a project. It's more of a project management. Remember, your phone is a robot. Yeah. But because it's a robot, someone else does the casing. You see, when you go to when you buy a phone, you then go down to Galiraya to buy a phone cover. Yes. So someone is making the phone cover. Someone is selling the charger. Someone, someone did the programming. Then someone, you understand. So it is an all-round thing. So we are telling children, or telling learners, or even new adults that you can't. No wonder they said no man is an island. We work together as a team. So teamwork is built, project management is built, communication skills are built because they've got to learn. They're learning how to pitch, but then as a, as a, as a result, they're also learning to think critically, to identify problems and find solutions so that these things of government here to Yambi can be reduced. <laughs> you see, yeah? So we move from, so this would be so now we go to Fundi at work, where someone is already doing an engineering course and we are telling them, okay, since you did the engineering course, what can you do? It's amazing. We've got so many who come to our office for internship and they've never tinkered with any of this. That we walk them through and they do internship. Every, our internship program, just like this, is hands-on practical and project-based. I think our success story is the students from IUIU. Most of the, the people, the, the learners that you're seeing on that screen are products of Fundibots. Yes, Karim is our student, Sharifa is our student, um, Mustafa is our student, and, and I like that they acknowledge that they, are, they, we, they came through, they learned, they went back to the university. Of course, they were learning something, they upgraded on what they are learning, and they came up with a club, and we are so proud of them. But also we are saying, can we start manufacturing things here? So that is why we have the 3D printer. So the 3D printer, we have lots of these at, at office. I think we have over seven or 10 of them. So as they're coming, we are teaching them machine learning. Uh, but we are also producing these at, at office. We have, we have um, laser cutters, we have a CNC machine because productivity uh, is, is, we need to be productive. But also we are saying, can we stop importing things? Can we start learning them? Can we start to learn how to use them? So this here, this would be the finished product of this. So this is a part. This is plastic. So you use a filament. You give the instruction from the laptop. It comes through. Use the filament, and then this is what it is. Wow. So this is a part for that for an a robotic arm. Yeah. No, no, no. A robotic arm. So it is because they are still producing. It would be. It's, it's not here. But what 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 are we saying? Can we learn to use all these? so that we do not look at them as myths and misconceptions that ABIB into we have a Zungu. These things are for everyone. Yeah. Wow. Hi. So, um, about uh, these things where do you get? Are they in Uganda? So our 3D printers were imported, but they are in Uganda. I know of, 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 of a, a, I think there's a class of, of learners who try to come up with a prototype of a 3D printer. The problem is that it is very expensive. So part of the, part of the challenges we have is that AI, ICT is a very, very expensive course, especially the practical part is very expensive. So because of its, ex, because of its expense, it's very difficult to turn a prototype into an actual. So these are, these are important, uh, even the filament is important. But then here, then here we are. They, there is an instruction. Look there. The code. The code is there. The instruction is given there. The design, you design, you come up with a design. 
and then you send the instruction to the 3D printer and then it prints. The same way you send instruction to a printer on the laptop and it prints from the laptop to the printer and you get the paper with something printed on. It's the same way it is printing but this time with filament and printing the whole shape. Rosbera, yes. thank you so much. You're